Hi everyone, so my name's Ryan. I've been a professional web developer now for give or take 12 years. I really wanna cover how to show you the best and how the professionals set up their own WordPress website. Now that's everything from getting your domain name for a good price, setting up a server that you own, so it's not a shared server between, let's just say a thousand other websites that are stored on this one server. You want one that's just got your websites on it and that you control. Uh, and on top of that, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to set up your first WordPress website. Install anything you want on it, play about with it, learn, maybe even make this a career like I did. So follow along in this video, and if you do encounter any errors or steps you might not understand completely along the way, do put them in the comments below. You'll probably see there's already a few comments there that I've replied to, but just before we get into it, it'd be great if you could click the like button. This is a super small channel, so, Every little like helps, you know, we're not looking in the thousands here. See if I get 50 likes in this video, amazing. This video is gonna be divided up into four different steps. So first of all, we're gonna go and purchase your domain name. Now there's gonna be lots of providers out there and you might even already have a domain name. That's completely fine, but I'm gonna show you how to get it for wholesale price. Next is gonna be setting up your server. Now we're gonna set up a server just for you. This isn't gonna be, like I said before, a shared server or a service. So what you can do from there is actually make as many WordPress websites as you want. Most people have more than one and this really cuts the cost down there. So you're not spending five, 10, 15 quid on each website. So next we're gonna marry the domain to the server we've just purchased and made up. The next after that is gonna be installing WordPress and showing you get to the base point where you can do whatever you want. Now you might already have a domain name, so you can skip this part if you do. If not, we can go over to a service called Cloudflare and they sell wholesale priced domain names. So you're not paying any extra on top. You're just paying what it costs to buy that domain name. So you're kind of bypassing the fees. So you can see it here at cloudflare.com. Click on sign up. Right, I'm gonna sign up, brilliant create an account. Now we have an account, we can head over to the left hand side here where it says buy domains. So this is a new feature from them, it's just been released. Click on hit where it says here buy domains. So in this box we're going to search for our domain name. I'm going to type in just for toxic that cheap domain.co.uk. See if that's available. So there it is, you can see here this is only $5.24. So we'll go with uh, .co.uk, that cheap domain.co.uk. Click on purchase. So we only want this for a year. So we'll continue with this. Purchase it, enter in all our details, uh, and I'll come back at the end of the, the registration process. So we're happy with that. So we'll head down and submit. So good stuff, we're setting up your domain. This may take a few seconds. And then from there, we can carry on with adding our domain to uh, our server. So picking where to host your server is very, very important. Like all the different companies come with different benefits, but ultimately the cheaper you go, the worse your, your website is going to run. For premium, say for Kinesta, it's quite a popular uh, premium WordPress hosting website. If I go to their plan, you can see that it's one WordPress install for $30 per month. And that only gives you 25,000 visits. You know, not, not great features to be honest, but it's on a good server, which will mean the website will be fast. But if you go to a shared hosting server where you're on a, one server with thousands of websites, super slow, and you're not really getting value for money. But with Breezy WP is the one I would recommend. The unlimited WordPress installs means that you own the server, so you can add as many WordPress installs as you want. So say you want 10 or even 20 on the one server, you can do that and it's for a fraction of the cost. So you can see for a smaller server, you might be able to fit, you know, five to 10 on a small server if you're really not putting that much traffic through them, but you'd be able to, you know, start five or 10 websites on a small server. But if you're getting more traffic, you would bump that up into SVR2, SVR3, SVR4. If you're really looking at these bigger servers, you're gonna be making quite a lot of money on your website anyway. Um, and it's very, very important. But for, if you're just getting started out, I'd recommend setting up server one this will mean you can create as many websites as you want, as, like unlimited websites. Uh, the only thing that does limit how many websites you can go on is that 32 gigabyte storage limit. So obviously websites take up space. 32 gigabytes, you should be able to create a lot of websites. I'm not, I mean, you could put 
uh, WordPress is in the megabytes rather than gigabytes, so you can do the math there. So we'll quickly sign up and create a server. So we can go, I've already got an account, but you can register. Once you've registered, you'll see here, there's gonna be a, a create server button, or if you've already got a server here like I do, it's up here where it says create server, top right hand side. So name your server. So I'm gonna name this WordPress demo. This is uh, just for your record, so you know exactly what's on that server. So for this demo, I'm gonna choose server one, and we're gonna choose it in London. If you are around the world, check it, the one that's closest to you, and that'll give you the best speed closest to your, your local uh, internet provider. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check out. All right, good stuff. So our congratulations on your new server. Your server will build uh, behind the scenes this can take up to 10 minutes as we spin up a brand new server for you so we're not just plopping you onto a server that already exists we're getting a virtual machine getting it all uh, set up so you get your ram cpu uh, and that server is just built just for you so if we go back to servers you'll see one that is building for you so there we go we've got the wordpress demo the server that we've just purchased uh, where it is and then it's building so we'll wait until this stops building and then we'll be able to add our first website that's our server now built so we'll go into the details and from there you can see all the server details what php version the server size and most importantly your server ip address which is just here so what i'm going to do is actually just create that in on breezy wp so that so we want to enter just the domain name, no www or anything like that, just the domain name. Hit submit, that'll go off and it'll create the website for us behind the scenes. Install everything that we need to run WordPress and from there we can create as anything we want. But before we're able to see this on the internet, we're going to need to change the IP address on the domain name. So we'll go and do that now. We will copy the IP address, but you can click the copy button here or just highlight, go back to Cloudflare. So in the overview, when you log into Cloudflare, you'll see probably something that looks like this. And your domain will come up here, and uh, where you just under websites on the left-hand side, you can click into it. And then down the left-hand side where it says DNS, click, click on that. This should be empty by now. If it's not empty, I'm sure you could remove a couple of things, but uh, we'll hit add record. The type of record we're gonna want to add is an A record. We're then gonna type in here, the at symbol that means it will be at the root of the dom domain we'll paste in the ip address we'll leave this checked and then click on save now we're going to add one more which is the www uh, in the name section a record and then the ip address again all good there so what we're going to do is click into the website on breezy wp there it is all set up and then we're going to install ssl so this will give us a automatic secure template so that it'll be come up as a secure website when someone browses on it. So we'll click on install. Behind the scenes, that'll go off and install the certificate for us. But we'll click on the site now just to see what that looks like. Now, we may get an error, but who knows? Oh, we don't. So Breezy WP WordPress, all good. So this is standard WordPress. And you can log in using forward slash WP dash admin. See the where it says, <clears throat> and there's too many redirects. That's because we now need to change this to full. Now give that a few seconds. I think it usually takes around five or six seconds before this will change. We'll give this a refresh. And there we go. That just took about 15 to 30 seconds there. So to log into the admin section, go back to the website and you'll see here where it says admin username. This comes from your the username you signed into Breezy WP with, and then you can copy the password, log in, and you can see everything is as you expected. You can install plugins, install themes, go from here, go to the dashboard, see the website. It really is, you know, base WordPress. So now you have not only your server set up, your domain, your SSL certificate at the top left here. That's really everything you need to get started with WordPress. Now, Breezy WP also comes with free templates. So you're able to install a template. So say it's a portfolio at the moment. We do do a, a premium raffle website where you can create a raffle. 
uh, but that is in the template section as a, a paid option but here where it says premium portfolio this is included websites and you can install make your own uh, portfolio website and there'll be lots more included websites to come but anyway hopefully this was uh, useful for you and you learned something all right cheers thanks for watching bye